Well, we want to welcome you AFCM members. This is Mike Sparrow, a new uh, executive director with AFCM and some new friends that I met along the way when I was out on the East Coast recently with Dr. Jim Caseman. We did a, a regional meeting in Cobbs Creek, Virginia, and then moved uh, down the coast. I spent time with Rick Smith, the regional director for Mid-Atlantic there, and then had the privilege in spare time to connect with uh, <laughs> new members to me. These guys have been around a while with AFCM, but I was just excited to hear the projects they're working on and thought you might be as well. Uh, we're doing this faith aid uh, again, you know, every month. And uh, faith aid is to encourage faith, but it's also to stir up one another uh, to good work, stir up one another, encourage one another in their ministries, and gives us an opportunity to learn and hear about some of the other ministries within AFCM. So I uh, just wanted to introduce to you these guys that are new friends, uh, Marvin Smith, wave at us, Marvin, so they can tell who's who. And then uh, Bill Gallant, and yeah. uh, these guys are partners, and yeah. a friend as well, Walt. Walt, I don't know if I'll get your last name right, but uh, uh, Walt's uh, here to encourage and serve and help us keep this transmission going. So, uh, yeah, um, these guys, Bill and, um, and Marvin, have been working together in kind of smaller communities around Atlanta, uh, but doing big things. And they shared with me just the vision they've had for their outreach and uh, also just the, the amount of people they're reaching on social media. And I thought it'd be super encouraging to us because in this recent season, we've talked a lot about the next generation and trying to stir up and connect the next generation. But we never can neglect the, the warriors and the builders that have been uh, serving God for a long time and still producing uh, great fruit. So uh, who wants to start? Just give us a little background about uh, where where you came from and how you guys got to, together and about the outreach and things you're doing. Uh, who, who wants to start us out? Well, I'll start and then Marvin can kick in. I'm Pastor right. Bill Avant from One Hope Outreach Ministry. And we started back in 2019, uh, right about the time that COVID kind of hit the area. And uh, we saw a tremendous drift away from the church. And out of that, this ministry was birthed uh, to reach uh, to those because we found uh that we have more church members outside the structure of the church than we do inside the structure. And so it gives us a desire to explore. And like this is a faith aid, it was out of our faith that we begin to pray. And out of faith, God began to give us creative ideas. And the creative mm -hmm. idea that he gave us was to go to the, through the mass media through the digital world. And uh, as we begin to look at the statistics, we find that Facebook demands about uh, 3 billion viewers around the world every month. And out of that 3 billion viewers, 60% of them are between the age of 18 and 34. And, mm -hmm. and also, uh, TikTok alone demands about 1.5 billion viewers a month, and their basic statistics are pretty much the same, that about 60% of those are in that age bracket of 18 to 34 years of age. And so what we have been doing is not only ministering here locally uh, and supporting and help feeding the homeless, but we minister around the world. Uh, we minister in India. We feed the poor, hungry children in India. We assist in drilling wells in India. We support two missionaries in Nepal. We have a minister we support in Ghana. We have another minister in El Doret uh, that we furnish food and Bibles for them. We also have a minister in Peru uh, that we just recently help fund them a trip into the jungles uh, of Peru to minister to those uh, where there is no electricity, there is no communication wow. at all. So this is just a part of an outreach ministry. But besides all of that, we conduct two services on Sunday here in our home. Plus, we have a 
a service on Sunday morning on the internet called The Church Without Walls. And on Sunday evening, we have a radio broadcast that goes out from here. Then plus every day of the week, we are ministering out of our outreach ministry. Sunday, yeah. we have a ministry. Monday, we have a ministry. Tuesday, there's always <laughs> something going out seven days a week. And not only did we do that, Marvin, he can tell you about, he puts out a newsletter. And also on the internet, we put out a scripture every day, 365 days, One Hope Outreach is posting wow. a scripture for those out there. So that's just to kind of give you a synopsis of, of what has been birthed out of two elderly men. I don't <laughs> mind admitting it. Uh, I'm 89 years old, but I, I but know I, I saw that on I saw that on your uh, on your profile, your AFCM yeah. profile. It was hard to believe after I met you. I thought that's got to be a typo. That guy's still <laughs> got. He's got fire on the inside still. And you, yes, sir. You, you guys, how? What's your reach? You told me how many hits you're getting on social media. Yeah, and, right now we are easily reaching twenty thousand people every month. In other words, we're probably more than that, but that's just a conservative estimate because see, uh, and, and, and for some of you listening pastors that may, it, there's a world out there waiting on you. Uh, these people are interested and it does not have to be anything great and lengthy. We have found out that just a two to three minute slot will get you hundreds of views immediately. And, uh, mm -hmm. I know some people shy away from TikTok because there's a there's a lot of things on TikTok that's undesirable. But if the undesirable will listen to the word of God, I'm going to be right in their face with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Marvin, jump in yeah, here, brother. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we look at ministry like a business opportunity. Come when, on. The, when the opportunity presents itself, we go for it. Yes. And, you know, if we see that it's not working, we just make another decision and go a new direction. And so we yeah. can't just sit still and wait on wait on it to happen for us. We have to go out and make it happen. So, and I love that. Yeah. So when God is, you know, God sanctions what we do, if it's according to the word of God and his anointing is on it, it's sanctioned by him, we go for it. And so um, yeah. that's just the way we operate. Amen. Well, I and the thing of and the thing about it, uh, Pastor Mike, is that there's so many different places out there on mass media. Uh, it's not just Facebook, but but you, like I said, you got TikTok, you got MeWe, you got YouTube. See, every every message that goes out from this place right here is in a log on YouTube. You can go to YouTube and you can see everything that we've ever produced and. I'm I'm sure we somewhere between five and six hundred uh, different broadcasts that that are there, and not only that, there are Christian podcasts out there for churches, and we are also on PodPoint, which is a Christian podcast. And see that podcast feeds you out there, Apple, Spotify, and all these other places that gives you a tremendous audience every time you go on. And so That's this so thing amazing. just multiplies. Amen. Well, I, I tuned in to your Church Without Walls broadcast and watched a little of it this morning. And you were with two other guys, uh, uh, pastor friends, and uh, you guys were exhorting not just about coming to be spectators, but to get busy and to get the gospel out. And man, you you guys were like preaching from the table. There was uh, It was encouraging. And it was, again, the idea of Church Without Walls to, to get out of just our routines and to get out and not just uh, listen to the gospel, but share the gospel and be the gospel. And I was impressed, again, by your zeal and your fervor to, to go after it. And uh, so, Marvin, you, you're a building contractor by trade, right? And then got into pastoral ministry. I think you told me 40-some years you've been helping plant churches, build churches, and yes. uh, keep, keeping the zeal going. Yes, I've, uh, I am a building contractor, yes. a residential and commercial builder. Um, not so much big projects anymore, but yeah. I've been preaching for 40 years, more actually a little more than 40 years. And I've actually helped 
to uh, start two churches. I was sort of part of the structure getting it started, so part of a support system, but I did some preaching and ministering along the line in those churches as well. Amen. So we have, uh, you know, we have some ministry experience doing this stuff. Yeah, I guess so. And guess so we then we take the business application and put it together and it works. So Marvin, uh, can I ask Marvin to share, uh, Mike? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, it, we, I, he has a burden in his heart, and I do too. And it's one of the things that propels us every day is Marvin touch on the like of knowledge of the word of God in the body of Christ. Yeah, we, yeah. we reach out to a lot of pastors as well. You see some of them on our broadcast. And, you know, we support a, another local church here feeding the hungry, the homeless, so on and so forth. But we reach out to a number of pastors yes. and we invite them to write articles to be included in our newsletter. And um, <clears throat> that being said, we see a lack of yes. scriptural knowledge mm, yes. from the average mm. church goer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's right. been a burden on my heart to try to do something about this to try to draw the people in and get them engaged in yes. the word of God, learning the word of God and so on and so forth. And of course, wow. that's, that's the heart of every pastor. He wants the people to learn, know what the word actually says and how to apply the word. So See, that's part of the vision and mission of AFCM as well. And if you've listened to Dr. Jim Caseman, he's got that same passion and burden. Yes. People yes. would know the word through lack yes. of knowledge. My people perish. Yes, that's Amen. exactly right. Amen. Amen. And and I and I think uh, I don't know about some of the other pastors, but it seems like the older I get, the the more energized I get uh, about getting the gospel of Jesus Christ out there. Well, I wonder what's in those peaches in Georgia that get you so fired up because something uh, you, you, when I had dinner with you, I was just blessed how um, energetic you, you're not going into retirement. There was no vision for rounds of golf in Hawaii. It was more how do we get the gospel out and how do we get bring people to the Lord? And yeah. that's that's one reason why I wanted people to hear you, because we've we've been sometimes you know, mistaken. Recently, we're trying to engage the young people that some even maybe members have said, well, you're, you're not leaving the seniors behind. And by, by no way, we're, we're all going together. We're going forward together. Mm -hmm. And this year, we declared it's a year to flourish for AFCM. And uh, Psalm, Psalm 92 has been our kind of our benchmark scripture. It says this, this is in the New Living Transmission translation says but you have made me as strong as the wild ox you have anointed me with the finest oil my eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies my ears have heard the defeat of my wicked opponents but the godly will flourish like palm trees and grow strong like the cedars of lebanon they are transplanted to the lord's own house they flourish in the courts of our god even in old age they'll still produce fruit They'll remain vital and green, and they will declare the Lord is just. He's my rock. And so that's Good. that's the, the the passage we've been talking about and, and encouraging other leaders and other ministers with this year. And you guys are living examples of that. So uh, praise God. <laughs> well, that's what uh, I, I was reading out of Psalm 23 or no, this was Hebrews 23. Uh, we're going through the book of Hebrews this summer, and it says, let us hold fast the confession of our hope. And then the action part says, and let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works. And so <laughs> that's, that's that's what we that's need awesome. to do, stir yeah. up love and good works. And so um, I felt that from you and just feel like uh, what you're doing would be an interest to some of our other members. How can people get a hold of you if they want to contact you about what you're doing? Well, we, we have a, you know, you can, they can find us on Facebook anytime. We have what would a, it be? Is that one hope? Outreach, where, what do they look for? What's your uh, tagline there? We are also, we are on the One Hope Outreach Ministries on Facebook, and we are on uh, Pastor Bill Avant. Uh, they can get get me that way also. And uh, also That's Bill Avant, A-V-I-N, -A right? A-V-A-N-T. Oh, Advent, that's right. Avant, A-V-A-N-T, and also. It. Also, we have a post office box uh, in Franklin Springs. Uh, if they would like to write us, uh, 
they can get in touch with us at One Hope Outreach Ministry. Uh, what's that box number? P.O. Box 487. Post Office Box 487, Franklin Springs, zip code, Marvin? 30639. 30639. Okay. Amen. And then we have a web page. Yes. OneHopeOutreach.com. Okay. Yeah. OneHopeOutreach.com. Well, what is yeah. But as we wrap it up, I just I want to say, and I'm sure Marvin would like so also to just let you know how that we are, we feel honored to be part of AFCM, uh, uh, an organization that it is evident. I mean, it's seen every day. If you we see a lot of it on Facebook, where they're active around the world, not just around the world, but in prisons around the world. Yes. And, and we are seeing mighty men and women raised up through this organization. And again, we are honored to be part of that organization. That's, well, that's true, yes. Amen. My wife and I joined ASCM many years ago. We left for a while, but came back. But ASCM is uh, yes. top of the list for us. Yes, so, amen. Well, it's, Thank you for your support and prayer for all the transition and new things that are going on. We do feel like we uh, are going, moving into a good season, uh, the, the season behind us for many of us with COVID and everything. We're kind of in survival mode or whatever, but no more. We're yeah. flourishing. We're going for it. We're going for Amen. it. Amen. So can we pray and just uh, yeah. sign off? And, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Father, I thank you for zeal. You yes. said uh, the zeal for your house consumed us. Oh, repeat to God. You, Lord, we, we feel it and know, God, that's what we're looking for, yes. that your zeal would propel your church forward no matter yes. what age we are, no matter what our gift mix is. Lord, I just thank you for hungry people looking for opportunity to share the gospel. Yes, As, uh, we're looking around us and seeing darkness and desperation. Lord, I thank you that your gospel has the answer. Uh, our core values in AFCM, just uh, uh, about knowledge of the Holy Spirit, how to live in the spirit, live in our authority. Lord, I just believe those values are so important right now as we uh, try and disciple your church and strengthen your church. And I ask your blessing over these men and that you continue to just uh, cause their ministry to be fruitful and uh, keep going to the uttermost parts of the world. In yes. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you, man. Thanks God for bless. that.